G'day, it's Phil here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a bit of a mixed bag. I've got a mail call. Uh, I haven't been getting very much mail in the last month, but I do have a letter. So I thought I'd better open it and not sort of sit around and wait until I get some more. And because I've only got one piece of mail, I thought I'd go through some of the purchases that I've uh, done over the last little while. I haven't done very many purchase videos for, for ages. Um, the last one I think I did was the Commonwealth uh, Games set from Woolworths. But I've got some other things from the Mint and I thought I'd uh, show you what they were. Just to uh, keep you informed. Let me clean off the stickers that I've been getting from YouTubers around the place and get into the envelope. Well, there's the envelope that I've received. It's come from a uh, viewer of mine, uh, Peter J. He's lovely, put it in a lovely padded post bag. So if we can uh, get a little bit of scissors action going, cut her open, see what's inside. Always appreciate. Well, if you were sending me things, you don't have to send me anything. Um, Post box is there, so if you want to uh, correspond with me, you can go right ahead. So we've got a bit of bit of board. Oh, here we go. Uh, G'day, Phil. Uh, I know you are uh, a huge fan of Ram at one dollar coin, so I am sending you the enclosed PNC issued with issued in 2010 to commemorate 100 years of Australian Commonwealth coinage. I hope it makes a great addition for your collection and is sent to you in appreciation of the many videos you share with the wider coin community. Ah, keep up the great work with your channel. Cheers, Peter J. Well, Peter, that, that, um, that's very, very, very kind of you to send me a PNC from 2010. I, I'm pretty sure I know the coin of which it, it relates, but let's crack her open and have a look. Now, I know that I, I do not have this particular PNC. Uh, yeah, this is a classic classic PNC um, so 2010 100 years of Australian coinage so from 1910 to 2010 it has the Queen's IRB effigy there on the obverse Australia Post and I might pull it out of here if I can just so we can get some of the shine so it doesn't shine so much and I can show you the coin itself let's see if we can zoom in on a good angle that might be that might be a great angle because this is a great great looking coin in that it has effigies of the monarchs that we've had uh, since Australian coinage came on board so so we've got uh, Elizabeth and then her father uh, George the sixth his father uh, George the fifth and then Edward the Seventh, the first monarch on a Australian coin, but only for one year, 1910. So that is the monarchs. It's a very, very nice coin. Thank you very much, Peter, for sending me that PNC. That's that's much appreciated. I do definitely, definitely love that coin, and don't have it in that format, the PNC format. So I'll put that back in its little folder. And Peter, you, 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 yeah, thank you. I, I, I don't have very many words to say. It's very, very topical, actually, because uh, Queen Elizabeth II passed away yesterday and the news is full of coin questions and coin answers about what will happen with Australia's coinage and the UK's coinage. King Charles III will become uh, the monarch when he's... Um, ground and he will definitely go on our coinage uh, lots of questions about whether existing coinage will become obsolete no it won't um, and we will go on with our current legal tender but we'll have a new effigy as of most likely next year possibly later uh, depending on the coronation but thank you very much for that now let me go and through some of the things that I bought over the last little while. I'm not sure if I've, I've shown you this. I'll pull out a little bit, but I have picked up the Honeybee uh, C-Mint Mark 
carded coin. It's a little while ago now. It's probably a couple of months. They're out in circulation. I do have some of those uh, that I found. Well, I've not found any in circulation, but I've been given uh, two at this point. One from my brother up in Queensland and one from another uh, viewer who sent, sent it down to me. And I'm much appreciative of that, but I have the C Mint Mark Honeybee coin. Uh, there are the, the specs if you want to pause on that and, and, and read the blurbs. But it's a nice, very, very nice coin. The, uh, the color is lovely, the way it's set out on the honeycomb, the way that it will over time degrade and the uh, highlights on the honeycomb will go um, aluminium bronze and the indents will stay that honey color will probably will definitely be looking very fantastic over time. Uh, the other things that it was a little bit older than 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 I would have um, shown you would have been the 150th anniversary of the Overland Telegraph. I know that people have been um, putting that on the internet. That is the celebration or the commemoration of uh, the telegraph line from Adelaide to Darwin that uh, connected Australia to the rest of the world through undersea cables from Darwin and into Asia and then off to uh, the UK. So we have a $1 coin commemorating that. And there is the blurb and the specs on that. And you can pause and read that at your leisure if you like. So that was another coin that I picked up. At the same time as that, or a little bit after, I actually picked up the PNC, the special PNC. Uh, I was advised about this uh, on the internet from a, another video maker. And he, uh, he noted that the PNC, there was two PNCs, one with, I think it's a yellow or a very similar sort of a burnt orange color to that. And then there was this purpley one. And the purpley one has a privy mark, which is the letter privy mark, which as you know, Australia Post uh, have their own privy mark. And that is Australia Post privy mark, the envelope. So I've got one of those because there is a low mintage of that. That's only seven and a half thousand of those privy marked um, PNCs out there. And yeah, definitely something worth keeping in my book with a privy mark, a, a separate $1 coin from everything else. It's very hard to get some of the very low minted um, privy mark and mint marked coins. So the 250th years of Overland Telegraph. Very, very nice. That was uh, added to my collection over time. And what else? Uh, so then the, not the most recent, but the previously most recent is the newest $2 uh, cement mark coin. We have the 75th anniversary of peacekeeping. So we have two doves with a blue uh, colored ring in the center. And that I understand it's going into circulation. I wasn't sure about that. I, I heard from another YouTube uh, video uh, that it most likely will go in circu into circulation. So we're looking forward to that. But then again, we have $2 on the obverse. Um, there is the blurb and the specs, and you can also pause on that and read that at your leisure. But uh, commemorating uh, peacekeepers from Australia uh, for 75 years, which is a very long time. Uh, and uh, even though it is military based, uh, I have somewhat of a military background, but um, yeah, I, I do enjoy the military type coins, which then leads me on to the next coin that I picked up, which is, and you would have seen this around the traps and heard about it, uh, it was in the news, a lot of places uh, uh, got word of it, the 75th anniversary of the Australian's, the Australian Signals Directorate. Now... Mostly it was advertised because it, there's, there's a code in amongst the, um, the coin itself. The coin can be decoded. Um, there is the uh, obverse with the Jodie Clark effigy of the Queen. There is a spiel and the, the specs that you can have a look at. Pause at your leisure. Now, I won't go through the whole detail of how to, un how to unencode it or how to decode it. But there's the coin itself, and I, I won't pull in too close. But basically, there is seven levels of coding that you can find. And the first, because you look at the uh, obverse of a coin most times, you'll see that there are dots under the letters above the legend, and the first uh, code is Braille. So if you can decode the... the uh, 
the braille on the obverse there, then you'll get a, a word which will uh, give you the um, code at bash. And then if you look at the outer ring of the, the numbers in the on the reverse, if you use at bash on the outer ring, you'll be able to find another code. And then the third code relates to the inner key, inner ring. If you get the clue from the at bash, you'll uh, know to do something uh, with those letters uh, seven wide and five deep. And then if you uh, decode that, you'll get to the fourth level of um, coding, which is the block of letters and numbers here on, in the quarter of the uh, coin. And you use the uh, XOR hex coding system, uh, which you'll need a computer for, and using the the uh, the the, the uh, legend that you have unencoded from the third ring, and then uh, from that you'll get a couple of messages about the singles directorate. And the uh, fifth different uh, kind of coding is the inner ring of letters on the coin has light and dark letters and the uh comes out for light being one and dark being zero i think it is and it decodes into binary and then if you look at the the outer ring you've got light and dark and also shaded letters and that is morse code with uh, light being dashes and dark being dots and shaded being uh, gaps and then also the card itself has binary numbers on it and you can decode that as well so the the whole uh, package the whole package is uh something to be uh, poured over decoded uh, looked at and uh, it is quite uh quite a coin it did sell out relatively quickly and you can't really get them at, at the moment the prices have uh, not skyrocketed but they're a little bit up certainly on ebay it's hard to get and it's a very very nice looking coin uh, very busy uh, wouldn't last very long in circulation but uh, it, it is a nice coin nonetheless so that's an, uh, the coin for the signals directorate and the last one or well, the last two that i picked up uh, uh, just yesterday actually was the new australia post dinosaur series so we saw the australia mint do a dinosaur series for the the preview mark <clears throat> at the end of the year but the Australia Post has uh, gone uh, uh, above and beyond with four different coins of four different dinosaurs in a set. They've got two sets, the uncirculated four coin series and the uncirculated privy mark four coin series. So four coins of the just uncirculated series is $12 and the privy marked series is $20. So every one of these privy mark coins has a D, an I, an N, I think that one's the N. Yep. And an O, so Dino as a privy mark on those four coins. So we have privy mark coins and we have uncirculated coins, and they'll also be turning up in our change because there is uh, the Australia Post will be giving them out in change as well. Uh, so we have new coins. There is also a PNC of this particular coin with a with a uh, privy mark, but I haven't been able to f uh, source one. Uh, very similar to the 150 year, uh, years of Overland Telegraph, there is one of these dinosaur cores with a envelope preview mark, but I couldn't find one, and I can't get one through Australia Post. I'll have to go either through the secondary market or find one another in another fashion, or I'll just have to miss out. Uh, like th sometimes that happens, but there is an uh, an envelope proof you mark one of those i think again seven and a half thousand of those minted they sold out relatively quick as well so there is my mail for today from from peter j uh, a, a pnc uh thank you very much as well as some of the the things that i've bought over the last little period and uh pncs as well as uh, carded two dollar coins and uh, so forth uh, so it's been a little bit busy over the last sort of two or three months with, with coins coming out. There's a lot going on there on, on that screen. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully uh, not too boring. And uh, next time uh, I do one of these, hopefully we have a little bit more uh, mail from viewers. Uh, but either way, it doesn't uh, matter that much. We 
I still love to noodle, so you'll always see my noodling every three or four days. So happy to happy to do that for you guys. But otherwise, uh, I'll see you in the next little while. Um, stay safe. Have fun. Bye.